Whew. Oh man, we're reeling them in, we're reeling them in. We reeled them into the video. Welcome everybody. Today, we are gonna give you an insane property tour. Right behind me is a $9.5 million modern estate on water with just under 6,000 square feet of living space, 100 feet of water frontage, eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and completely renovated just this year. This house is extremely special, but what's more special about it is this right here. We're on the water, and if you look far enough down over there, you see the ocean. Easy access for boaters. This is a paradise, and we're gonna show it to you. So without further ado, let's go inside and show you the front of the home, and we'll work our way in. See you in there. Welcome everybody. Now we are going to take you inside this waterfront beauty. So first things first, we always have to talk about what's outside, right? So the front, you have a really nice manicured driveway. It's the concrete block pavers with the artificial turf in between. I love it. And if you notice it's darker black because it matches a lot of the features that we'll see on the inside. Now we can come down this way. You have a gate here, which is pretty unique, right? Sense of privacy. Maybe you get home, you want to close it. You can close the door here and this is more private. And now you have all of this enclosed. Now this is really nice. I love this courtyard entrance, right? Landscaping here. It's walled, it's private. And you have the floating staircase with the water surrounding uh, leading up to the front door. That's a grand entrance. You hear this, like your guests come home or to your home and you hear the water trickling. You're starting to get a taste of what's in that backyard. So now we're going up these floating staircase, right? To the front door. Welcome home, everybody. Welcome to paradise, literally. All right, so the house itself is just under 6,000 square feet and it has eight bedrooms and eight bathrooms. It's a very spacious home, right? We'll notice upstairs, we have six bedrooms and five bathrooms and downstairs we have the remaining. Now, we're gonna kind of walk you through here. So you walk in here, you get a sense of the staircase leading up, you look up above on the ceiling, you have the cove lighting with a really cool light fixture in your foyer entry. This is where you put down your keys. All right, and then you work down your way over here and you're in your living room, right? So here's your living space. I love they did a nice fireplace here. They kind of sunk it down. It gives you more warm vibes, it's cozy. Doors closed now, you don't hear the water. You don't even get a sense of the water here. This is just where you have a little bit more of like an intimate space, right? You could even make this like a movie theater or get creative with the space. But for now, this is the living room, right? A place to showcase some of your art and a, a place to really converse intimately. Now we come down over here. All right. We're going to show you this family room and then lead you to the kitchen. Like we mentioned in the beginning, you kind of have these black accents throughout. You're going to see now this house was completely renovated, uh, just finished recently, right? So it's basically a new home, completely gut renovated. This is your family room here where you could watch our property tours on the TV and we actually coincidentally have one of our property tours on the TV right now. It's just, it's a great space to watch Jonathan Vega tours. George would agree. Jorge would agree as well. Now, family room here. What I love about this family room, you have the really nice built in there. You have the surround sound speakers, all right? And you're looking out to the water view. Like this is the main reason why you're paying $9.5 million. You have the pocket doors here that lead to the outdoor there, and you have this door here that leads to the covered terrace as well. We'll show you the details of the outside as we get out there later in the video towards the end, but at least from here you're getting a sense of you're seeing the water. That's what living here is about. Living on the water with no bridges to bay. Now, over here you have a wet bar, which is really nice. So it's in between this family room and the kitchen, which we're about to see. This wet bar here, you can have some drinks ready. You have a sink, very nice and you notice the black accents as well. Now, we walk down this way, and we're in the kitchen. As you're approaching the kitchen, you have this wine cellar here. Look how big these wine bottles are. Look how big that is. I, I told Nancy, the listing agent, that when this sells, you have to pop one of the bottles. You have to. It's just, and there's one in here that's supposedly worth like a lot of money, and that's the one that we have to pop. Now, okay, you have your family room there, and then this is your kitchen area, right? You also have an entrance from, uh, rather entrance from this space from the front door, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you that in a second, but first, 
Look at this over here. This is your kitchen. This kitchen is unbelievable. You have a really nice thick quartz countertop here and it has the waterfall down along the sides as well. You have Thermador coffee maker here and the microwave, right? And then you have double sinks. Now look at how cool this is, right? This sink is super neat. So press this, just a normal sink, right? Look at that. Look at that, a hands grow fixture here with a really cool uh, water feature to that. I guess that's like to make it easier to clean the plates. That's what makes sense to me, right? Now also when you're right there in the sink, you're looking at this display area where you can display your wine glasses, your really nice china. And then right over here, we have your cooktop. You're on gas here and you have the pot filler here above with the quartz backsplash as well and the hood right above as well. Another sink here with the really cool hands grow fixture. And then right over here, your refrigerator. Thermador refrigerator here, and it's just opens with the push, right? So you just, it's closed now, but you saw that? It's like a push of a, at the, it opens at the push of a door. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we'll continue the tour. Now, this way over here, you have the service area. So you have a laundry room over here, right? Full service laundry room. And then you have over down that door, you have the two car garage that you could also put a lift to put more vehicles if you so desire. Now in that garage as well, you have a, like a pet wash area and you also have an ice maker as well, big ice maker. Over here you have one bedroom with its own bathroom as well. This bedroom here is a good size bedroom and the bathroom has a nice different uh, finish that you'll notice compared to the other bathrooms. All right, so that's one bedroom that we've seen. Down this way right here, you have your cabana bath, the pool bath basically, and it's also your guest bathroom, right? So people are here in the kitchen, they wanna use the bathroom, they can use this bathroom and it has a really nice finish. The finishes you'll notice throughout, you have a lot of the blacks, the, the browns, the grays, it all kind of comes together. And then down over here, you have a second bedroom and this bedroom uses that bathroom we just saw but this is a really neat bedroom to make as, let's say, just kind of like a kid's hangout area. That's how they have it, right? So now we're gonna go down over here, kind of give you a better sense of the flow. You're seeing here, you have a bar area, like a stool area, so you can sit down, breakfast nook, and look out to the, the not the wool, the pool. And when you, what's really neat is you sit down here, right? Breakfast in the morning. You see the water view, you see the boats, and you also see the infinity edge pool. And that's pretty neat. So it literally looks like you have the water right in front of you. I love that. And of course, this area here has the pocket sliders that go straight out to your summer kitchen and covered terrace. Now we're gonna go back down this way over here, right? And notice as well, this kitchen, you have the dining room right here, right? So that's the entrance we came in through that way over there from the family room. This is your dining room here, right off of the kitchen. So everything here kind of flows. And I love that light fixture. It looks like lightsabers. <laughs> that was a good noise, right? George didn't have to put sound effects because that was the effect of sound for my mouth. Let's keep going. Full bathroom right over here. This full bathroom is also a guest bathroom. And this guest bathroom services the people in the entertaining spaces, but also from your gym. Come down over here. This is your gym area. This is a multi-purpose room. I love it as a gym, me personally. You can make it a movie theater. You have that dark setting. I love how they did the LED strips and the ceilings, and you have the exposed insulation that gives it a really cool gym vibe. Right now, this area here, you have a massive TV and you have the gym equipment. You have the same porcelain tile that's throughout the entire house in here as well. But I love the high ceilings and you're looking out to that courtyard in the front of the home. So that's the gym area, right? This was something that they added on. So gym, close this here. Bathroom, convenient. So we're gonna walk down this way now, right? Now we're back in the entrance of the home. This is the front uh, of the home where we entered at the beginning. Right, so we kind of walked in a circle here to end back right to this spot. So now we're gonna take you upstairs and show you the impressive primary suite and the secondary bedrooms. Let's go. All right, now we are up 
upstairs. Now this is the important spot because this is where you and your family will spend a third of your lives. Yes, because if you sleep eight hours a day, that's a third. And yeah, I know you didn't think of it that way, but now you're thinking of it that way. So we come upstairs and you're greeted right here into this family room, a common area for the rooms, all the rooms that are up here. And there's six in total. So this is a great place. You can even put a couch here. Great place for the family to Netflix and chill because I love Netflix and chilling with my family. So I'm sure you love that as well. That's our run on joke for every single video. We gotta make sure it's with that. Anyways, really cool about this Netflix and chill area, you have access to the outdoor balcony which wraps around the entire upstairs, the back portion of the home. From the bedroom all the way at the end over there to the primary suite, you have that wraparound balcony, right? So now let's show you the bedrooms. We're gonna come down this way in the hallway, right? Here we have the hallway. Notice the lighting, uh, did wanna point that out. It's called brilliant lighting. And let me tell you, it is brilliant. <laughs> I guess that's probably the name, why they came up with it. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> All right, so down this way, right, we have a couple bedrooms. We actually have five bedrooms down in this hallway, right? This right here is the first bedroom. Almost all the bedrooms are ensuite bedrooms. I'll point out the ones that are. This is an ensuite bedroom here, and this bedroom's unique because it has access to the wraparound balcony in the back. Bedroom number one. Bedroom number two over here has the closet with the really nice barn door. It's a large bedroom overlooking the front of the home, but this is a Jack and Jill. So Jack and Jill went up the hill to meet in the bathroom. This is bedroom number three. Also, it's that Jack and Jill. So that's three bedrooms and two baths that we've seen up here. And then over here, we have two ensuite bedrooms. The one right over here is facing the front of the home. And the one over here is facing the back with the water view and your access to the balcony, right? So this is actually probably my favorite room of secondary bedrooms. Uh, here you have the nice black accent. You have the, the doors that go out to the balcony and you have your bathroom with really, really nice uh, tiling throughout. I love the tiling they chose. It's like a textured tiling that you'll see in the bathrooms. It's really nice attention to detail. And you also have to note as well that you have walk-in closets that are really, really nice as well. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. My apologies. Uh, over here you have really nice built-out walk-in closets in the bedrooms as well, so that's something to note, right? And also, since we're right here so close to the door, notice the design on the doors. They're really nice, heavy doors. You can tell they're very well built, right? That's important. For me, that's like super important. I don't know why doors are so important to me. It's just the details, right? So now we've seen five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Let's see the most important one because if you're watching this video, it's probably for you, right? Hello? Nobody's in here, come on. Double door entry, of course, to your primary suite right over here. Light fixture is super cool. That, I love the light fixtures, and you've noticed they match throughout. They're all like little, they're either big lightsabers or little ones like this. This one's more like vim, 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 because it's like smaller. <laughs> um, primary suite here, you have a massive TV. you notice there's TVs everywhere. And you have right here, kind of like this fireplace area as well. It's a nice cozy spot for you to sit when it gets cold. And obviously it's not like a real wood burning fireplace, but it'll have the illusion and the feel of the heat, right? So primary suite has access to the wraparound balcony. And from over here, you get the corner. So you're looking down the canal, which is really nice. The, the suite here is pretty big. I love the headboard that they put behind the bed. You have obviously for nightstands, king size bed, seating area right in front as well. And then over here makes this really unique. You have a primary suite laundry room. It's just for the primary suite. Obviously, if you wanted to use it for other people, you could, but it was meant to be just for the primary suite. So that way, as the owner, you just do your laundry separate from the rest of the house. You have that here, you have the prep area for your clothes as well, and you have a sink here as well. But don't get this confused with a wet bar because we're gonna show you a wet bar this way. Barn door, double barn door, up along here, now we're entering where things get really cool, right? So we notice our wet bar over here. This is why I said, don't get that confused with the other one. This is where you're gonna get your coffee in the morning, get some drinks prepared, right? And you have two refrigerators down here to store anything you'd like, waters, wine, whatever. That's nice to have close to your bed. 
Over here, walk-in closet. A large walk-in closet. I think this fits enough clothes for anybody you have in mind, right? And then over here, right? If you noticed, the pantry, I forgot to mention, has a TV for a reason. Tub. Tub right over here, all right? You're soaking in that tub and you're watching the Miami Heat lose against the Denver Nuggets five straight games in a row. Because honestly, the game that we won, we didn't win that, we got lucky. So whatever, I'm not, I'm not upset about it, I'm disappointed, all right? Now, over here you also have access to the wraparound balcony, which is nice. So the balcony you can access from the bathroom and from the bedroom. Tub there with a little indentation that they did for you to have your soaps. And then over here you have your double vanity, all right? Love the, have you noticed the fixtures, they're different in almost every bathroom. And then you have the shower here, double rain shower, double body jets, double handheld. You and your partner could sing in the shower, like Zac Efron and the girl from the movie, High School Musical. This could be the star of something new. You can sing that to you. All right, whatever, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So <laughs> over here you have the private toilet room, and then over here you have basically where you could keep your, they have it as their uh, makeup, moisturizers, perfumes, cologne, little station for that, a little display for that, right? But I love this bathroom. And you notice all the flooring, it continues throughout. This porcelain flooring continues throughout the entire property, right? So that's the entire upstairs. I think we've covered it all. We've seen all the bedrooms. We've seen the interior. Now it's the most important part. Let's go outside. Now George is walking from outside of the primary suite. We wanna give you a sense of the outdoor balcony here and explain something to you, right? So you have this balcony, you're overlooking the water view, which is Again, the most important part of this house. But this balcony here, you get off again from the primary suite bathroom, from the primary suite where you just walked from, from the family room up here, and from bedroom number one, and the last bedroom. Now I do wanna point something out. You have people over and you wanna entertain up here, you can. They can come through the upstairs family room, come through right, basically right over there, enjoy this up here if they wanted to sit up here in a different setting. And you also have the, I guess, bathroom, which would maybe a cabana outdoor bathroom that connects from one of the bedrooms, right? So if somebody wanted to sit up here, maybe you wanted to just have a little more intimate, you're like, hey, look, let's go upstairs, let's, let's talk one-on-one -on -one while the party's going on. This is where you could do that. Now, let's go show you where the party's gonna be going, which is down there, outside by the pool. I'll see you downstairs. To go outside we're gonna do it right especially if we're having a party right pocket doors we have to open them up fully and we're right off of the family room so this is indoor outdoor living right here at its finest family room people watching the game or watching our tours they're in and they're out in and they're out that's the purpose of these pocket doors and you walk out here and you have this conversation fire pit you take a little step down it's sunk in this is where we you and i can have a conversation a little more intimate if it's rainy or sunny put up the umbrella, right? This I love. George says his dream home has a conversation fire pit. So George, this is your dream home. I guess it is, right? Now over down that way, you have a little putting green and you also have a little swing for you guys, you and your significant other to swing about your love. You notice right here, Epe wood soffits up above and you have speakers throughout the entire outdoor area. All right, now you have your infinity edge pool that we mentioned. From the inside, you have a really nice view of this infinity edge pool. But what's really nice is you have the lounging area here, space to lounge, and you have space for the umbrellas within the pool. Open the umbrellas on a sunny day if it's too sunny. But you're lounging, looking out to the water view and your boat. Really cool here, the soffit, the Epe wood soffit, continues here in this covered terrace with one, two, three, four, five fans and speakers here as well. You have a seating area here, a place to dine here as well. So this is a great space, obviously, to entertain. And this right here is where the magic happens. This summer kitchen 
is off the fashizzle. It's insane. You have this quartz countertop, similar to what we saw inside in the kitchen. You have a really big sink here. You have your barbecue, two of them. Napoleon, massive. One's a little smaller than the other. They're huge. You can go cook regular burgers on one and veggie burgers on the other one. Of course, you have a little refrigerator here and an ice maker, but get this, look at this TV. Look how big this TV is. Literally my wingspan, so that's massive. Look at these speakers with the subwoofers here. You have a party? Boom, 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 boom. Big parties, big fun. Family's gonna, this is the family house right here, right? So this summer kitchen is great, okay? Now down this way, I do wanna note, you do have your cabana bath, right? Which we saw on the inside from before, but this is where you have the access from this side over here. So that way nobody needs to go inside the house to use a restroom, right? So now we're gonna walk down this path. You notice here as well, you have the artificial turf, kind of like an, as an accent, dividing the spaces with the concrete block and the porcelain tile out here, which is really, really nice. We're gonna go step down here. This is the most important part of the house, right? We have here an 80 foot dock. And if you notice, they made the dock very wide. It's about 10 feet wide that stretches out, which is not too typical to see. And this is an Epay wood dock. It's 80 feet but you do have 100 feet of water frontage here, but the dock itself is 80 feet. And you have direct access to the bay with no bridges whatsoever. No height restrictions on your yacht at all. That's that, 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 that. That's the most important part of this right here. Now, I think that about sums up the tour, right? We have here, oh, that was a jump. Should be playing basketball. That is a $9.5 million mansion. Now this home is in the exclusive gated community of Gables by the Sea. It's one of the most exclusive communities and one of the best communities for waterfront living because you have homes like these on the water with no bridges to bay whatsoever. And that is huge, especially because you get on your boat and you're out there like in a minute. That's the most important part, right? So Gables by the Sea is also home to the best schools in the neighborhood. You have Gulliver nearby. You're home to Pinecrest Elementary. Top rated schools. When people are moving down from out of state, these are the areas they're thinking of because they want to put their kids in the best school system. Also, this home is beautiful at night. The twilight shots, we're putting up some twilight photos right here on your screen right now. It is absolutely stunning. This house is beautiful during the day, as you've seen, and at night. And that's the end of the tour. $9.5 million paradise, waterfront living, gables by the sea, modern home just recently renovated. Doesn't get better than this. Make sure you go down, you like, subscribe, and you comment. My favorite part of this house is this outdoor area here. The conversation pit, the conversation pit, the pool, the summer kitchen, that's my favorite part. I'd love to hear what your favorite part is in the comments. And if you're looking to move to South Florida, shoot me an email, youtube at jonathanvegagroup.com. I was like looking down to see if I jump. I want to do like a dramatic ending. We're going to end it like, like right now. Woo, ow, oh my God, that was farther down than I thought. Thanks for watching the tour. Since you're here, you might as well watch some other ones. Why don't you watch this one right here? Or, or maybe this one right here? <laughs> and while you're at it, why don't you just go subscribe as well? And if you're looking to buy a house in South Florida, just shoot me an email too. <laughs> we'll see you in the next tour.